Welcome to the King Standings View Community YouTube channel. Today we're going to make forage fruit and almond cakes. For this recipe we'll need some unsalted butter, some brown sugar, self-raising flour, ground almonds and some free range eggs. As well as any fruit that you'd like to use, ours is foraged, plums and raspberries. So the first thing we're going to do is cream the butter and sugar together. You can do this by hand or you can use a mixer if you have one. Okay, so we've placed the butter and the sugar into the mixer and turn it so when that's mixed for about a minute we need to just scrape the sides of the bowl down just to ensure everything gets evenly mixed and then give it another mix. So having done that, we've creamed our butter and sugar together. The next step is to add the eggs, one at a time. The reason we add the eggs one at a time is so that the mixture doesn't separate. So combine the flour and the almonds together, pour them into the butter, sugar and egg mixture, then carefully fold them all together. This recipe, we're doing individual cakes, but you can do a large one if you like. You just have to adjust the cooking time. So we're going to just remove the stones from the plums. These are nice and ripe, so they're easy to prepare. Having prepared your fruit, the next thing we need to do is put the mixture into a tin, put the fruit on top and then place it in the oven. We're using a non-stick tin, so there's no need to grease it. If you haven't got a non-stick tin, then you can put some baking paper um, around the bottom or even tin foil. So, fill that about two thirds of the way up the tin. Keep the edge nice and neat so that it doesn't burn. Place your fruit into the cake, leaving a small gap around the edge if possible. That means the cake won't break up when you get it out and that's ready for the oven. So, after 20 minutes in the oven, it should uh, be ready. Finished with a dollop of Greek yogurt, lovely. Mmm.
delicious. Thanks for watching this recipe guys, so check out the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel. Bye for now.